six months in jail awaits trick-or-treaters who are over the age of 12 in a Virginia town. That's right. No teenagers allowed to trick-or-treat in this place. I don't know why. I think that's kind of mean. Right? Happy Halloween, but not if you're a teen. Certain Virginia places. In parts of Virginia, anyone older than 13 who goes trick-or-treating can be sent to jail for up to six months. Huh. And no matter what age, trick-or-treating after 8 p.m., in fact, can land you in the, in the clink for up to 30 days and fines range between $25 and $100. Where, uh, what, what would, uh, come on. Really, Virginia? Really? You're going to take all the fun out of Halloween. That's one of the best parts of being a kid is you get to go trick-or-treating. You know, I'm not going to lie. I'm, one of the benefits of being a short guy is, uh, well, I'm in my 30s and I can also trick-or-treat. So that's... <laughs> That's pretty cool. They don't know who's under that Power Rangers mask. They have no idea. <laughs> it's an old man trying to get some Milky Way. That's how, that's how it goes. And don't be giving me no black licorice, yo. Don't like black licorice. All right? It's not a racial thing whatsoever. I just don't like black licorice. All right? I like red licorice or no licorice. That's just how I, that's just how I feel. Well, I'll tell you right now, I'd be very upset if I was a teen in uh, Virginia trying to trick-or-treat. And what about the... What, can't the parents get involved and make change this law? I mean, put, get a petition. This should be changed immediately. Change it in time for Halloween, in fact. You have a couple of weeks. Get on the ball. Chesapeake, Virginia, is actually... Uh, has one of the strictest trick-or-treat codes for some reason. But in other areas as well, going door-to-door, -door, ringing or knocking and expecting a treat... For over 12 years, if you're over 12 years old, is a criminal offense. I'm unbelievable. Newport allows this activity through seventh grade, or at 12 year, or or at the age of 12. But after that, anyone engaging in such behavior is guilty of a class four misdemeanor. It also states no accompanying parent or guardian shall wear a mask of any type. Unbelievable. I mean, it's just taking the fun out of it, really. And Portsmouth only allows it very strict hours from 5 to 8 p.m. It's not even dark at 5 o'clock. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Then the article goes on to tell the, the history of this holiday. It originates from the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain. It involved bonfires and costumes to ward off ghosts or evil spirits. Ha-ha! <laughs> Come on, and you're not going to let the kids help? aid in the uh, collective cause of warding off evil spirits. Not only are you taking away their fun, but you're, you're endangering the rest of us because these, you know, when you dress up like, <laughs> like a transformer, you're warding off evil spirits. Didn't you know? That's what Halloween's all about. Uh, in the 1950s, Halloween was a holiday celebrated mainly for, mainly for the young people. But in Virginia, they were strict about what it means to be young under age 13, apparently. The Chesapeake City Code actually reads, if any person over the age of 12 years shall engage in the ac activity commonly known as trick-or-treat or any other activity of similar character or nature under any name whatsoever, he or sh she shall be guilty of a misdemeanor and shall be punished by a fine of not less than $25, no more than $100, or by confinement in jail for not more than six months or both. Six months of prison because you, you, you went and asked for some Tootsie Rolls, really? Get out of here, Chesapeake. Psst, the city of Chesapeake. I'm going to call you city of Chesapeake. I'm calling you city hall. I demand an explanation for these draconian trick-or-treat laws. It's terrible. Same, same city code, subclause B, says, If any person shall engage in the activity commonly known as trick-or-treat or any other activity of similar character or nature under any name whatsoever after 8 p.m., he or she shall be guilty of a misdemeanor, shall be punished by a fine of not less than $10, no more than 100 or be confined in jail for no more than 30 days. Imagine you're, you're nine and you, if you trick or treat and it's 8.15 and they arrest you and you gotta be in jail for 30 days. Get the, get out of here, Virginia. Would you, get out of here. Yeah, but the entire state of Virginia allows the children to smoke cigarettes at the age of 13, but no, can't trick or treat. You're like, Jonesy, they don't allow the kids to smoke at 13. Oh, have you been to Virginia? Babies are smoking cigarettes in Virginia. <laughs> But heaven forbid you're up past 8 o'clock asking for a, a, you know, a ring pop or two. It's just awful. Terrible, terrible place. 
I wanted to say something about her, but I forget what, what I wanted to say. Oh, I wanted to give a shout out. To, shout out to my buddy Jay from Sacramento who suggested I do this article. And uh, he, he called in and told me about it. And then made fun of my uh, friggin' uh, Morgan Freeman impression from yesterday. Come on, come on, that wasn't so bad. And if. <laughs> Andy Dufresne had been in jail since the age of. <laughs> since the age of 13 when he first trick or treated. <laughs> come on. Come on, it's pretty good. Shut up. <laughs>